What up all you worship peoples, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And today we're going to be looking at a brand new song by Chris Tomlin featuring Brandon Lake called I See You. Great song, let's get into it. So before we get into today's video, I wanted to encourage you guys to vote for future content. And the way that you can do that is commenting down below. Leave a comment. Let me know um, if there is a certain um, thing that you'd like me to cover as it relates to worship. Maybe that is back-end logistical type stuff like how to facilitate team building or holding auditions. Or maybe it's uh, other song tutorials. Maybe there's a, a specific song or artist that you'd like me to cover. I want to hear from you guys because I want to give you resources that are truly going to help you. So leave a comment down there. All right, so an incredible uh, duet. Would you call this a duet? I don't know. It sounds like too like romantic. <laughs> but it's a, it's a kind of a collaboration with Chris Tomlin and Brandon Lake. Um, with this song, I See You. It sounds amazing. I love Brandon, Brandon Lake's voice, uh, when, especially when it comes out on that second verse. Um, it just brings a, a lot of um, uh, just feel and soul you know, to the song. He's got an amazing voice. But um, So this is a great song, and maybe you're doing it. Maybe you're doing this song for uh, your small group. Maybe you're doing it for a morning Bible study, or maybe you're doing it for Sunday morning church. And you need to know how to play this song, how to pull this song off on just an acoustic guitar. I am here to help you. So there are three things that we're going to be going over in this video today, as always. Um, the first thing we're going to be covering are the key and uh, using a capo with this song. The second thing are all the strumming patterns for each section of the song. And the third thing are the chords for each section of the song. If you need to fast forward to a specific section, feel free to do that. I have segmented this video into the specific parts of the song, so you can just kind of shut me up right now and fast forward to a part that you really need to go over. And also, look out for these chord diagrams up here in this upper right-hand corner. Um, you can always pause the video and study those to see finger placements on different chords that I'm playing. All right, so key and capo placement. This song was recorded in the key of D flat. Um, if you were playing that on an acoustic guitar, what you would do is uh, you would put your capo on the first fret and then you would play in the C position. And then you would be in the key of D flat. You would just download your chord chart in the key of C um, and that would give you the chords that you're going to play. That key was a little bit too high for my voice. I went down a half step uh, to the key of C. And that key actually worked pretty well for me. If you don't know how to play in the C position, I have created a video for that exact thing. So click up here to see that or look down below in the video notes for that link. But we will be playing in the C position, um, especially being that we are playing in the key of C. But if you wanted to play in the original key, like I said, all you would do is just put your capo on that first fret, play in the C position and you would be good to go. If you wanted to play in a key that is lower than C, say for instance B, what you would do is you would put your capo on the 4th fret and you would play in the G position. That's the key of B. And then you would download your chart in the key of G. And then you would just follow along with those chords and you would be in the key of B, uh, which is a whole step, or I'm sorry, a half step under the key of C and a whole step under the originally recorded key. All right, so the intro. Let's go over how we would approach this on an acoustic guitar. There's a lot of um, stuff going on in the recording, um, some vocal samples that they're looping, and um, it sounds really cool, but really hard to replicate, obviously, <laughs> with one instrument. So this is kind of how I would approach that intro. So one, two, three, four. verse. 
right, let's take a look at that strumming pattern. Um, it's very minimal, not very much going on, a lot of down strokes. Let's see what I'm doing there. So one, two, three, four, down, down. Verse one, let's play through this and then we'll break down the strumming pattern and chords that I'm playing. So one, two, three. Got a love, got a long glory. Every day I see new mercy. Great is your faithfulness. Got a love, got a my story. You never fail, you never forsake me. Great is your faithfulness. Let's look at that strumming pattern. One, two, three. Down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, down. Keep in mind that when I go over strumming patterns, I'm not giving you every single strumming stroke that I am doing. Um, it's just the foundational strumming pattern, and then you can add your own flavor on top of that. But it's just kind of like this is the gist of what I'm doing. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right, so uh, let's go over these chords now for this first verse. I'm going to be starting on the F chord. If you've seen some of my other videos, I play the F chord in a kind of a weird way, uh, but it's just the way that I like playing it. I've gotten used to it, and it sounds nice and full. So we're going to be starting on that chord. So here we go. God of love to A minor seven. God of all glory, Jesus. Every day I C over E. C to mercy, F, A minor 7, great is your faithful, Jesus, Ness. C over E to F, God of love, A minor 7, God of my story, Jesus, you never fail you, C over E, never forsake me, D minor 7, Great is your faithfulness. Yes. Remember, if I'm ever going too fast for you, you can always pause the video and take a look at that chord diagram to really break down the fingering on some of these chords. All right, chorus. Let's play through this and then break it down. This is the best part. So one, two. I see you in the morning light. I feel you in the fire by night. I hear you say, child, I Let's take a look at the strumming pattern for this chorus. It's pretty um, unusual, you know, and I had to kind of find out the feel that they were going for in the recording um, because there's a, there's a really interesting um, beat and rhythm uh, to this chorus, and I think it plays nicely uh, to the lyrics, uh, but rhythmically it's, it can be a little bit challenging. So let's break down what I'm doing in the strumming pattern there. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. 
let's slow that down because I know that's a pretty complicated strumming pattern. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. match that to the chords, it sounds like this. Alright, speaking of chords, let's go over the chords for this chorus. We're going to be starting on the C. I see you in the morning light. C over E. I feel you in the F, far by night. To G, I hear you say, A minor 7, child, I am with you. G, every F thing will be alright. I see you in the C, tears that run. C over E, I feel you in the F, healing comes. To the G, I hear you say, A minor 7, Beloved one, I am with you. G, every F moment of my life, I see you. C, C over E, I see you. F, O, O, G, I see, A minor 7, you. G, God, I, F, C, U. All right, let's uh, play through the second verse now. And uh, I'm going to be adding a little bit of a palm muted vibe uh, to give it some more energy because you're kind of getting further into the song now. So you need to kind of start ramping up that energy a little bit. Uh, but let's play through this and then we'll break it down. So one, two, three. Got a love, got a new vision. Every blessing you have given Great is your faithfulness Oh, how great is your faithfulness See you in the end of the chorus there. All right, let's break down the strumming pattern for that second verse. Here we go. So one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down. Alright, the chords for the second verse. Let's go over these. We're going to be starting on the F chord. Um, these chords are a lot like the first verse. Um, there's just fewer of them because the verse is shorter than the first verse. So, on that F chord. Got a love. A minor 7. Got a new vision. G sus. Every blessing. C over E. You have given. Back to F. A minor 7, great is your faithfulness, Jesus, C over E, to D minor 7, how great is your faithfulness, Jesus. Alright, then after that it goes into another chorus. You can use the same exact strumming pattern and chords that I, I already taught you uh, for the first chorus for that section. All right, the bridge. Uh, they play through this bridge uh, twice. I'm going to play them both for you, and then we'll break it down. Right, so one, two. So I will worship through the storm, through the storm, through the storm. All my hope is in you, Lord. In you, Lord. In you, Lord. I will worship through the storm, through the storm. So for the strumming pattern for this bridge section, you can actually use the same exact strumming pattern that I taught you for the first chorus, which is what I'm doing. Uh, so why don't we move on into the chords? 
We're going to be starting on the C chord. So I will worship through the storm. C over E. Through the storm. F. Through the storm. G. All my. E minor 7. Hope is in you, Lord. In you, Lord. F. In you, Lord. I will see. Worship through the storm. C over E. Through the storm. F. Through the storm. G. All my. E minor 7. Hope is in you, Lord. In you, Lord. F. Alright, let's play through this chorus too. Um, that's what they're calling it on the song select chord chart, but it's basically the kind of like broken down chorus that they're doing after the bridges. Um, a lot less instrumentation, a lot less energy, and then they go into a full chorus, full final chorus. Um, but this is how that chorus two would sound. So one, two. I see you in the morning light. I feel you on the fire by night. I hear you say, child, I am with you. Everything will be alright. I see you in the morning light. And then it goes into that final bigger chorus. Alright, so as far as strumming through this chorus too, it's it's funny, it's actually the, the strumming pattern that I taught you for the first chorus, um, but I play the majority of it very lightly and up on the higher strings. I'm only um, hitting that down, that first downbeat, I'm hitting that really hard. And then uh, the rest of the pattern, I'm just really lightly kind of playing with these strings up here. So let me show you what that would, that, that looks like strumming wise. So one, two, three, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up. And then when you match that with the chords, it sounds like down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, up, up. So it's all in where you're you're strumming and how hard you're strumming for that pattern. So let's go over these chords for chorus two. Now that we know the strumming pattern, very simple chords. It's just like a uh, broken down version of the uh, normal chorus chords. Um, so it's going to be starting on that C. I see you in the morning light. I feel you in the F. Fire by night. I hear you say A minor 7. Child, I am with you. Every F thing will be alright. All right, then after that, they play another chorus. I think that's the third chorus. Um, again, you can use the same strumming pattern and chords that I already taught you for the first chorus. Um, and then after that chorus, there is a, a kind of a tag. They, they sing like the last two lines of the chorus again as like an ending to the song. Um, and that portion is kind of broken down again, a lot like chorus two is. Um, so let's play through that and see what that, that ending section sounds like. So. One, two, I see you, I see you, oh, oh. I see you, oh, oh. God, I see you. So as far as the strumming pattern goes for that ending section, you can actually use the same strumming pattern that I showed you for chorus two. It totally works the same. And then the chords, of course, it's just the chords for the last two lines of the chorus again. So you can refer to that um, for your chords. So that is our worship tutorial for today, guys. I See You by Chris Tomlin featuring Brandon Lake, an amazing new uh, worship song, very churchy, uh, very praisey, very worshipy. Um, yes, I, you can add a no Y onto all of those words and just make an adjective. Totally fine with me. Um, just go ahead and do that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I want to hear from you guys if you're playing this song. Um, and uh, let me know how it's going. So comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I hope that this video helped you. If it did, why don't you give it a like and maybe even subscribe so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. I'll see you guys in the next one.